another day, another dollar. Today we have a Porsche 911, I believe it's a 1976 911S. It's a collectible and the customer wants us to upkeep it and minimize some swirl marks, also take care of the interior. So in this video, we wanna show you guys how we like to take care of collectible antique cars like this one. Um, there's many things that you can do to preserve your paint's finish and also preserve your interior. There was also like a little musty, kind of oldy, moldy smell inside the interior. So we uh, steam clean all of the interior, the rugs, the carpet, and we're gonna put leather conditioner on this interior. So it's early morning, we got a lot of things to do. The guys already got the car prepped and we're getting ready to do the detail on a 1976 911 S. For a modern day lover of the past and a classic eye for sight, we bring you this 1976 911S. So here's an interesting fact. This was the first model that the Porsche had to redesign in order to meet US regulations. So one of the regulations that they had to redesign was the flank uh, license plate with the light display in order to showcase the license plate number. That's one of the things that they had to do. The other new feature are these new black bellows. The new black bellows can be found on the front. The others you can find them right here on the side. And lastly, you can find them here towards the rear. So the reason why they did this is to, first of all, it, it acts like a, like a cushion in a way. So like that, if you hit something between 10 to 15 miles, it's, it's gonna actually bounce off. This way it salvaged the paint and protects the car a bit more. So you can find them a little bit more. I think about, I think they stick out about two or three inches from the body. This way it adds like a little sacrificial protection there that it doesn't let it hit the panels. So they did it on the front, the sides, and the rear. And here's some footage of us working on this beautiful timeless classic. We were able to restore the paint to a very high gloss by doing our paint correction service. And we didn't neglect the interior. We did some steam cleaning. We did some uh, fabric protection. Uh, we cleaned the leather and we also did some kind of odor removal because it did have some, uh, what's it called, some mold. So it had this kind of moldy uh, smell to it. So we dropped a, a odor bomb in there and sanitized the whole interior. Now let's bring it outside, show you guys how this thing looks outside. This is gonna be fun. 76, huh? This is how it felt inside. Back to 1976. Oh, doesn't wanna go. All right. Put your seatbelt on. Damn, does it even feel like? Put it on? Yes, yeah. weird. Yeah, it's weird, right? Yeah. There you go. Can't find them? Grind. There's no gears. We're grinding this video. Porsche. Wow. Nothing crazy. Just uh, touching her up. She looks good for the last video shoot. I'm here using uh, a new product, actually, that just got to the shop. It's uh, Jesscar. Beat it. SIO2 spray wax. Apparently it has some ceramic in it, so it's making this paint really, really smooth.
Oh wait, so I got a surprise for you guys. Hold on, I'll be right back. All right guys, so like they say, out with the old, in with the new. We're gonna do this one next. Stick around, because you don't want to miss what we're gonna do to this 911 Type R.